Good morning, evening, afternoon, night, ladies and gents, and welcome back to another adventure with Sergeant Bezak as we continue our Symphony of War, the Nephilim Saga. Last time, we reunited in Eastwall, I believe it was last time, yes, uh, with some of our allies that haven't gotten much love in the past few episodes. They had gone their own way, did not stick with Deanna, which there is nothing wrong with that. I actually do believe it was a good thing that not all the eggs are put into one basket. Spread out all the eggs in situations like this. And with the rescue, it's now time. Uh, we have this region up here with Embor, and now we have gained Eastwall. We need to start striking south into the heartlands. Oh, oh. We need to topple this empire. Let us go. Ever since Deanna and Bezak first met, the Nephilim prophecies went largely unexplored. Now, the return of the Nephilim avatars have made it clear that the prophecy cannot be ignored. The Historium Magnus is stolen from the vaults in Embor Palace. Scout reports track the thief to Karnak Mountain. Oh, way, way north, right at the, how uh, was that, base of the river. Inevitably, Bizak is not the only one interested in retrieving the book. Well, duh. Everyone's going to want to know what's going on from that book. What does the book say is going to happen in the future? What are these Nephilim to do, and can they stop it? This is a weird matchup. But, okay, why not? This is the final por point in the scavenger hunt, but the last clue said there'd be a priceless treasure at the end. What gives? Mm, wait a second. Hey, Barnabas. Nice to see you. I knew you'd make it. How'd you know that? This was a challenging hunt. I might still be lost in the woods. Anyone who knows about you knows that's what drives you. A challenge. If I made it easy, you'd have got bored and I'd just be stuck here waiting like a fool. Ah, very clever, Barnabas. So, you're the priceless treasure, or what? Well, no. Just couldn't think of a better clue. Writing's never been my talent. I hope you'd consider the time we've spent together, how far we've come, and that it's just you and I here in this grove. To me, that's priceless, and this farmer would like much, much more of that. Oh, Barnabas, that's what you want? Just a lot more of me? Gosh, this whole big, elaborate scheme? It's not what I'd expect from you. Yeah, guess I just wanted to try something foolhardy again. Maybe show you that I still got a bit of spark left in me. That's so cute. But so silly. The last thing I need is even more foolhardy in my life. I want the Barnabas I see day in and day out. I want a whole lot more of that guy. And that you shall have, Sybil, if you'll have me too. Yes, you goofball. Come on, just walk me back to base and tell me how you thought of this whole grand scheme. Okay. That, I, I will say this, we've had, what, three relationships pop up in this, and of the three, only one of them felt genuine, Stefan and Deanna. That was the only one that felt like there was any sort of build-up towards it. I'm not saying we that's a requirement in these sort of games. It is not for relationships. But if you're going to throw these bonded things in, when I don't see if there's any upside to having it with certain characters over others. I did look up at one point the the first ones you see for each one I believe is considered the canon relationships for the game. If I'm wrong on that let me know but I do believe that's what is they consider canon. And they don't do much build up. Yes you do have a good amount of... do you have a little bit of talking in between but not at least not enough for me for it to feel like these people are growing together 
especially if into a relationship, let me know what you think. I think you'd need a little bit more uh, Fire Emblem style where they need to be like maybe fighting close to each other and then they have it at a certain point where once their friendship levels grow, you see more of it grow a little bit. It's you got the base foundations here for what I think they're trying to do. I just feel they don't quite have it nailed out just yet. Let me know what you think. Here we go. Wait. I, I got no... Seriously? No science. Oh, come on. This is getting bull. Stefan Lysander. Airships. Hey, there. Poindexter. Boy, am I relieved you're still in one piece. Really? Well, yeah. You're the man with all the answers. It doesn't even matter what subject. You can always get a little dose of enlightenment from talking to Lysander. This guy. <laughs> Welcome back to the club. Thanks. Though I must disagree. The more time goes by, the more I realize I do not know. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Hey, speaking of that, I was wondering. Why don't we just make a bunch of those airships and just drop bombs on the bad guys? No fuss, no muss, easy win, right? It's been a long time since we used airships as weapons, and for good reason. For the price of one airship, one could instead equip an entire army with cannons. Because of the prohibitive costs, and because of recent developments such as firearms and war dragons, airships have become white elephants in war. White elephants? You mean like pink elephants, my friend? Yeah. White elephants meaning they're too valuable to risk losing. That makes them virtually useless, useless in a combat role. They are, in essence, expensive toys have no place in a serious battlefield. However, when modified to serve as an armored transport, they can be invaluable. Ooh, sorry. And that's just how we'll be using them. See what I mean? All the answers. Love this guy. Hey, that airship got a mini bar somewhere? Feeling overdue and mighty thirsty. Hmm. I believe that would be an acceptable modification. If you believe it will enhance our army's morale. Now we're talking. <laughs> Alright. Dear Lord, I still I'm not the fan of the face change. I understand why, but why is it only the main character whose face you see any sign of aging and it feels I don't know. Like a little bit too much, maybe I don't know. Just the face change. I something about it. So much has changed, Lysander. It's like walking from a dream to reveal a nightmarish reality. Can you tell me what happened to you after the battle at Fort Eureka? By the time I'd returned to the Inner Keep, Deanna had already evacuated with her group. I gathered everyone else I could find and we slipped out the rear Sully Port into the river, where we threw together makeshift rafts and floated down the Herald under the cover of night. Myself, Rescuja, Narima, and Sybil regrouped and made our way to the capital, just in time to watch your execution. The moronic cheers of the crowd nearly vexed me enough to blow my cover. Cheers, huh? It was an explosion of emotion across the spectrum. It was that moment that tipped the scales, so that the coming disaster was apparent not only to the clever, but to all. In the coming months, I attempted to rally opposition forces among the enraged nobles who remained, but the, nar the, bleh, bleh, bleh. But the Dark Knight and his Black Dragon had an answer for everything we, we tried. Following his dragon's roar was always death and suffering. No one could stand up to him, as he acted as the vanguard for an army of powerful cultists, mages, and Casimir's Imperial Elite troops. After witnessing the power of that Dark Knight and your resurrection, no longer scoff at the supernatural, but now seek to decipher it. After some time in exile, I reunited with my friends. We caught wind that Deanna had organized a resistance force dedicated to protecting the children from mass kidnappings. 
We sprang into action, taking advantage of the weakness here at Eastwall Fortress, and held out just long enough for you to arrive. It's infuriating what they're doing. Can't convince the grown-ups so they have to tear families apart and brainwash the young? Called it! I called it! So, maybe not a lot of child sacrifice, which has been pointed out, has been a thing in some Fire Emblem games, or at least one Fire Emblem game, so maybe it's not uh, the sacrifice itself that's the main thing. It's, as he said, changing the youth because they can't go after the adults. It is e indeed unforgivable, but this also presents an opportunity. This is a war of good against evil now. No mercy required for the enemy. Only their total destruction will heal the land. Oh, I wish that would actually happen in most cases. But usually, they allow some of the evil to continue. And then it infects the good. This is quite a bit more simple than reconciliation with a defeated foe. Yes. I was thinking just that, and you said it. Knowing you're the good, and that good versus evil does make things simple. Yeah, but a lot of the guys fighting for your quote-unquote evil consider themselves to be the good guys. So, is it just by the victors? Or the actions the people take to accomplish their goals? What truly defines the good guys from the bad guys? My opinion? It's the actions. But, eh, some might disagree. Anyways, so long as you stay good, Bezak. Okay. Yeah, I can't do any tech tree. This is annoying. S start giving me more tech. Ah. Uh, okay. Um, marketplace. No need to. Oh, some of these are good. Salmon of health. <coughs> Sorry. Ooh, obsidian, that is helpful. Mmm. Don't got the money. Do not got the money. And if I try to sell things... I'm holding on to these, but I haven't found much where I've had to use them. Sell one of you. I'm a collector, so just having a bunch of these is nice. Infinity Earth. Trait Bloodlust. There we go. True Chapeau. Oh, that's good. Oh, well. Alright. Alright, ladies and gents, I'm going to go through the army real quick. Looks like I'm not going to golden him up because i got to make sure everything else is good. Ooh, Sybil, you're going to have some new guys. Oh, was that, did something sound weird to you guys, or was that just me in my old headphones that I may have found in the back room of a retail store a decade ago? I might need new headphones that plug in. I do not like wireless for headphones, mouse, keyboard. I find uh, corded ones to be better, but I may be wrong. I will see you guys in a minute. Wild card. Heard about this place. These lava tubes will put one over on you when you least expect it. Best to avoid the hot spots on the ground. Well, best to avoid adventuring in a volcano, but you kiddos are too brave for your own good. Twelve. Actually, let's have... Barnabas. And yes, 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 some of these could have been upped, but eh, I decided not to. Didn't feel like it was helpful at the moment. Freya and Anthony, I do like having a lot of horses. Deanna. Ooh, I've only got three more. 
Let's get Rascuja so his units can be upgraded. Could do Jaramir. Abigail, all your guys are big now. Let's do Abigail. And... Hmm. Miriam. So you could be good. So could Andreas. Oh. Let's do Marion. Let's check the mission. I have to re uh, reach the stone gate. Can't be defeated. Avoid taking hazard damage from lava. That's probably not happening. Let's begin. School is in session. Yes. Oh, that is a lot of those guys. Jules. Yeah, why don't you go here and attack? They do have some lightly armored guys. Wasn't able to defeat them, but Lysander... Um, yeah, why don't you go here? I should wipe them. Yes. And then oh, Stefan. Yeah, why don't you rush here? Should be able to do it. I did upgrade his archers. So that should make things a little bit easier. And of course, he should be able to move again after he fires. He just should. I must stay strong. I can do this. Heal. Boom. Helpful. Master Sergeant awaiting orders. Normal attack. Yeah, it's not going to do good for me. Well, I took out their leader. So that's a plus. And you can go down there and... Oh, Anthony, why don't you rush over? Normal attack with all of your... Well, not all, but you do have a little bit of firepower with guns. It's helpful. And how she is able to climb up a ladder with a horse, I will never know. Sure, why not? Just two, that should be... Ah, uh, it helped, but it wasn't great. And then... Yes, yes, yes. Gotta be a little bit careful with where I place my units. Oh, if I could have gotten you right there to block the river. Or that river, blah blah blah, the ladder. Oh wait, nope. Oh, you got a second turn? Normal attack, kill these archers. Hey, they got the same idea I do. Holy crud! Yeah, I got a lightning wizard. I have one of every wizard in this unit with him. And it is OP. I love it. What do we got? What do we got? Yeah, I was able to do decent, considering it's all... Oh, that was good. Abigail, that's why you're the best. Yeah, I'm surprised you didn't go with that first. Oh, abs! Then again, two in a row. Oh, you took out one of my guys! Oh, Sybil. Okay, I should have done some of the arena things to level up my guys. 
Because they're doing some decent damage. I don't consider my units weak or below level really at all, but this is making me kind of rethink some of my... What the? Oh, okay. The guy who was on the lava. How can I help, my lord? You can help by killing these guys. Kill them. All right. Oh, that was near. What's our next tactic? Normal attack. Yeah, they're so good. So there's no way they're gonna accept a forced surrender. Okay. Ready. Why don't you? Oh, darn it! I wanted to go all the way down there. Well, you might as well get the treasure. Just an apple of agility. I ain't got all day. Normal attack. Should wipe the floor with these guys. They do basically no damage. Yes, gotta be careful with where I end them. Oh, they're already shattered. Force the surrender. I don't think I've really seen the force surrender fail when it was at they were at max. Alright, you should go do a decent amount. Yeah, a lot of light units on my side, so it makes sense that they'd get damaged decently. You Rush there to prevent them from attacking our other units. That's what we're worried about. Good. All right, now you're holding off uh, Raphael. Bet you didn't see this one coming. Nope, did not see it coming. You've truly outsmarted me. Fail. Oh, I should have done a force surrender. Oh well. A paladin never Diana. You should be able to... Oh, yeah. Okay, do a force surrender. Hi, right, why not? Ah, no surrender. There was no chance for surrender. This one for sure. No, they won't. Sybil, do not... Do not kid yourself. Yeah, I'm definitely going to lose at least two to three units out of the twelve. Mm-hmm. Okay, I was actually, actually expecting more damage there. Hmm. There goes Sybil. Yeah, I don't know what I was expecting. There's no way they'd be able to hold out against a designated unit that's focused on attack. Hmm. Awaiting your orders. We will always find a way. Yes, you will. Let's do a normal attack against these guys. You're at a higher elevation, so yes. Holy crud! Holy crud! That from did from my homeland. Way better than it should have. I must go there. That allows you to show up here, do a normal attack, and just wipe them all out. Look at that. Break their resolve. Yes, well, I gotta go this way. Donar be with us. I must be brave. Abigail, attack here. Darn it, still good. But they were quick and easy to take Repent care of. Before the righteous. Normal attack. Try to get rid of as many of them as you can before. Yep, they can shoot. Got him down to one. Got 
Okay, I need to heal my guys. Okay, you're gonna start rushing that way, try to help them out. I love you. This what you can do, I just don't want to be mistaken and think that I have units still needing to be moved when I kinda don't. Alright, took out their head samurai. Decent. You got a plan. Normal. Oh yeah, should wipe them. Good. I think that's everybody. At least from my side. Can't say what it's like for the enemy. Okay. Good. At least they're trying. Oh, I'm surprised you took out one of my healers. I'm mad at that. Okay, you are considered cavalry, so why don't you charge in, do a normal attack, no, 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 uh, target leader, kill the leader. That really hurts their morale if you kill their leader, as we've seen. School is in session. Come on, come on. Not bad. Not bad at all. Where am I needed? <sighs> My friends are coming. Yeah, let's have you go up here and heal them. Which will then allow Deanna never surrenders. To go on the offensive. Ho oh, oh. ho! Good. Rascuja, is Rascuja, you might be able to do something here. I'm not sure. Okay, you got rid of the magicians. I'll give you that. Stay strong, everyone. Normal attack. Oh, I might have been able to save some lives. The army is ready. The battle lies before me. The time to act is now. Oh, not quite far enough. Ready. Once <coughs> again, <coughs> I do apologize for all the coughing and everything you hear. I'm working on this stuff. It just takes time. Hmm. This might knock you out. Oh, their heels. Should do target leader? No, nope, leader's already down. Let's do aggressive. See if we can knock some of them out. Oh, wasn't great. Getting real thirsty here. Oh, sorry. Did you need something? No. No, I don't. I'm good. Are For you just team. getting a new my move every single time? I don't dislike that. Okay. That should have done it. Yep. Oh boy. Oh, they are doing a number on my guys. I'm not going to get an S rank on this one. 
I can tell just time wise I won't make it. Time to end this. Hmm. Can I do a normal attack? Yes I can. And they can't shoot back. Oh, not bad. Okay, you destroy. need to rush this way. Hmm. Telling me who to give. I can Abigail, you should be able to finish this guy off. Yes, I was right. I was nervous for a second. But I had no reason to be nervous. Wipe them all out. Alright, I got rid of two out of the four. That's still helpful. Master Sergeant, awaiting orders. There we go. Oh, did a lot more. And a surrender. Perfect. Hmm. Yeah, you're gonna rush all the way up here. Then you are gonna rush over here and get the treasure chest. We're going aggressive. Oh, come on. Never mind then. I think that's it. We're doing swell! Yeah. Yep, I'm gonna have to do some grinding with my units in the next episode, or, you know, before the next episode really goes. Good. All right. I help, my lord? Don't expect you to be able to shoot, but I got the obsidian. What's our next tactic? Iron. The battle lies before me. I don't think I have to backtrack here. But then again, it was due to my own incompetence, so I can't really blame anyone else. Well, it looks like I'll still be able to get this treasure chest. I got that one heal. Oh, I can do that? Why didn't anyone tell me I could do that? Can I force a surrender? Fearful, why not give it a... Oh, wait, no, low? Not doing that. There we go. I must not Abigail. Fail. I'm kind of hoping this guy here's charges our MC. That's not what I meant by charging the MC. Luckily it's not a mission required unit we will always find a way treasure gold arena token all right the paladin never surrenders i must be brave donar be with us all right let's do a don't do an aggressive why not he's able to take out their leader and at one of their subordinates so i'd call that a win my friends are counting on me I can do this. Hmm. Don't quite needed the healing as much as I thought I would. The time to act is now. Hmm. Wait for it. Oh, well. I was just ready to go. Oh, you took out one of my wizards. F you. Oh, good. 
This one was a challenge, ladies and gents, and I do like that fact. Haven't had a good challenge in a while. School is in session. Hmm. Anthony, don't go that way. Rescuja, nope. Awaiting your orders. Stay strong, everyone. Nope. Okay. Time to end this. You do not have much movement points, do you? Oh well, that's okay. And yeah, figured as much. Couldn't do much damage. All the treasure chests are taken that I can see. For my people, for my homeland. And there's the chapter. Yes, really. I'm mean, okay. Yeah, now that I look at it. Looks like our thieves found their hiding spot. This feels like a trap. Seems like That's what I just said, Stefan. At least we're on the same page at least once. Better keep your eyes open then and blink us out of things. If things go sideways, we need the book. Whoa, who just fell from the heavens? By the heavens. Stop doing these things. Just because I'm saying that doesn't mean it is good or, I mean, just because I'm saying it doesn't mean you have to say the same thing again. Anyways, isn't that that crazy maid you gave us such trouble before? Yes, and apparently one of the Nephilim. Does she still have it, or did she just lose her wings? Um, I dead? Just about. But you'll be fine. Splendid. Looks like those Imperial goons couldn't get the best of me after all. I do suppose I owe you a thank you, hmm? How about an apology? You know, for stealing our property. Oh, that belonged to you? Goodness, had I known I was dealing with such lovely specimens, I would have just asked nicely instead. I don't know how much I should trust this lady. Name's Beatrix Pendergast. Pendergast? As in Edmund Pendergast? That's the one, darling. Edmund's little princess. Interesting. I wonder what someone from such a family would be doing out here. Beatrix, you must come with us. You are one of the ancient avatars of Donar. We're born into our world. Wait just a minute. How did you... Aha! Of course. You pulled me from the brink. Signature move of Donar himself. Well, well. Fancy meeting you here a thousand years later. And you. The gigantic paladin. Inheritor of Gauss' legacy, no doubt. Eat any good books lately? Beatrix, the Nephilim are destined to reunite and fight Xanatus in the final battle. It is written in the prophecy which has thus far come true. Yes, that is the prophecy as they say it, isn't it? If you don't like prophecies, take a look. All but one Nephilim avatar is standing in this room. We have much to discuss, let's head back to Embor. Oh, really? Just why should Beatrix Pendergast comply with the likes of you, hmm? I have an army, and you owe me one. You know, I always did love it in Embor. What, with a year-round bone-chilly winter, 
the endless f featureless fields, the bland, lard-based cuisine. Yes, what l a lovely destination. I am feeling much sass from this lady, and I do not blame her. After you. Embor Palace Throne Room, Headquarters of the Nephilim Army. You lovelies found me at the shrine in pursuit of my divine weapon. You see, as the legend goes, the original Nephilim sealed away their weapons after defeating Xanatos and spread them throughout the world. Then the temple decided, like many things, to keep this a secret. No need to fuss. You're in for a treat. Heard about your little divine intervention on Mount uh, uh, Tolomia. Well, you haven't yet tasted power. These weapons will un unlock every bit of your potential. There's the magic of Cyrene at Mount Kar Karnak. Balmug, the divine greatsword of Ishtar at Sandraka City. Valor, the gauntlet of Galzus at Greywind Pink, belonging to our paladin of prolific proportions here. Skyrender, underneath the royal palace at Sayuna. Oh, I suppose the heavens have chosen the poorly dressed rogue to carry this torch, eh? Congratulations. At least I'm decently clothed. Last and certainly not least, Light Fury, the sword of Donar, which dealt the final blow to Xanatus piercing the demon's heart. Of course, this one's at the Imperial Capital. We know this one belongs in your hands, Bezak. You holding Light Fury would be the closest any of us mere mortals can get to sitting down and having tea with Donar himself. Two are already found. Mine and the ball mug wielded by the Black Knight you darlings refer to as the Hand of Xanatos. But three are still ripe for the picking. What? How has the Z people of Xanatos not getting the sword? And if they get their hands on these weapons... Then you'll be in a bind, won't you? Beatrix, how exactly do you know all this? I had a feeling you'd ask. So f full of curiosity, this one. I take it you've become acquainted with the follows of Xanatus, hmm? We have. Oh, I know. You are a real thorn in their side, Avatar of Donar. Or as they would say, the false one. Once they found out... I am one of the Nephilim, they tried to make me one of them. Odd, I'd figure they would prefer just to kill me off. That's what happens when you fly too close to the sun, you get burnt. I burned them quite handedly. Stole all the secrets I could and left to find my destiny, the magic of Cyrene. And here you are, falling into our lap. Seems a bit convenient for my taste. Thank you! Thank you, I'm not the only one. Well, we live in a time of fate, darling. Is it so hard to believe that we Nephilim would find each other? Either way, you're Nephilim and we fight together. Just don't disappoint us, Beatrix. You've got to admit, we did not get off on the right foot. Oh, pish. Bygones and all that. I do wonder what besides f favor with the heavens do I have to gain by leading you my considerable power. All I can offer you is a target-rich environment. And that's my final offer, and don't pretend that's not exactly what you want. Touché, Avatar of Donar. Ooh, we've got her nailed. Alright, ladies and gents, this is where I'm going to end this content. Let me know what you think of Beatrix. Should we trust her? Should we not? I want to know in the comments down below. If you like this content, make sure to leave a like, a rumble, a fiery thing, or something. To let myself and others know this content is enjoyed. And if you want to stay up to date on all the... Nephilim Saga, whatever else might be playing, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Till next time, stay safe.